hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today as the title says is i'm gonna be sitting down here and basically just put out in a piece of paper kind of the goals of the second quarter of 2024 before we start with this let me turn on a candle this is the candle of today and this is the one that i bought at travelers company so i have used this in many of my other videos but if you don't know me my name is b and i made so many videos about unboxing stationary planners and everything in between related with the stationery but yeah so yeah we are in quarter two of 2024 and i feel that my goals um, are working and not working basically i need to get new strategies on like exactly what i want to focus on this next quarter so let me just open this in here and let's take this piece of paper if you guys don't know this is the planner that i'm using right now this is the a uh, travelers company the judo one and i transformed this into a rings planner and then yeah so let me just go in here ahead and show you guys this this is kind of like the vision board of the things that i want to accomplish this year so yeah i don't know the first three months of the year has not been like the best for me i have mentioned this in many other videos but january i was with covid and it just really hit me hard this year like i have covid already before but this year was really hard the second month i was with a surgery in my stomach so it was a lot of recovering for that in next month it was a lot of mental health <laughs> not really good so yeah we are in april this is the state of april so let me just tell you a little bit about this so basically like the main things of this one is that for this year i wanted to do a lot of i wanted to focus on my anxiety and i must say that that's have been working uh, i was taking some medication for anxiety because uh, i have been like a really outgoing person like all my life and then COVID hit and then we got like really into this space that everyone had to be at home and like not interacting with people and like moving into all these virtual meetings and stuff like that so like for some reason i start getting some social anxiety and like i will be so anxious when i was going to restaurants and stuff like that so my doctor recommended me some medication which i really don't want to take medications for anxiety so on december of last year i stopped using my anxiety medication and i have been trying to get my anxiety levels a uh, better with using so many other like things like going more into my hobbies trying to get out more of the house getting some air and using like these practices maybe this is not the best so i'm not someone that will tell you leave your meds if you really need medication but for me this is the approach I'm, i have been taking so anxiety wise like i have been doing way better this year i must say so that's going good then we have in here some like kind of like healthy kind of style things so i have a lot of like in here moving on into the healthy eating doing exercise and stuff like that so when it comes to this hiking running or eating healthy i haven't been doing so good mainly because it was winter now we are again into spring so these three months are gonna be spring and i really want to focus on that like the like a healthy diet so <laughs> For some reason, my camera decided to stop and it did not film like the whole thing that I was trying to film before. So I lost half of the video. So let me just redo it. Hopefully it goes as good as it was when I was talking and doing everything before. But I was saying like, I think it cut off when I was saying that I want to keep a healthy diet. And in this case, I also want to do more of going outside. So this is another goal. Go outside. Take some fresh air and also in this case go for more war more walks in here and also take also some hikes and exploring just go with nature because that actually has been helping me with my anxiety so yeah i do want to do that um apart from this one 
there is other pictures in here as you guys can see i have a camera in here i have a nikon that takes pictures and also like there is a lot of like cameras and nature and stuff like that i want to get a little bit more into photography so and also blogging because i really love to blog so i actually bought this camera this camera in here is the dgi pocket tree and it's totally new i literally got it like a couple days ago so let me show you i am not super tech savvy so i don't know all the ins and out of the camera but i have seen so many videos of people using it and blogging it looks so cool so this camera in here basically i have in here two filters this one is the white angle i have that one that is like the black filter and in here this is the camera so as you guys can see in here it has a gimbal so this camera in there is the filming area and then in here you can see what's happening you can also switch it to the sides and everything and it's really cool i like this because it kind of follows people around so for example i can select my face and walk around and this thing is gonna be following me so i kind of like this i'm not gonna make a whole video about like talking about <laughs> all the aspects of this because as i mentioned i'm not really tech savvy in that area so you can go watch some videos and opening into that but this is the camera that i got to get into some more blogging and posting videos about blogging and stuff this camera also have this that is to save up the battery kind of area and in here it also comes with this this is a small tiny tripod so the camera that i bought a uh, i bought the whole content creator kind of like kit so it comes also with this that this in here is a mic so i can actually talk and make like my voice or my videos sound way better so i'm so excited to start using this but in order to do this i have to start getting outside and kind of like blogging better because i really like my sit down videos for kind of like doing this but i think that i really want to get into blogging my day to day and stuff like that so based on that another goal for this month will be blogging So now, like when it comes to photo, like I have this camera. I want to do more of these kind of like photos. I have this camera that I bought last year and I brought it to Japan. This is the Kodak. It's super cheap. I got it out of Amazon. This is the half frame camera. And this one is a digital camera. So basically it has a roll inside. I cannot open this because I don't want to expose the roll. But basically you take pictures and it has a roll. Then you have to send the roll somewhere for you to actually get the pictures. But it looks kind of like vintage style for me and i want to take more of these pictures the roll is not full i took it to japan but i took many like pictures but it's still not full so i really want to use this now that it's spring and kind of take more pictures to see how it looks so that's the photography part i'm not a really big photographer or any any videographer or anything like that but i really wanted to get into that that would be pretty cool then in here we have for the annual one we have a lot of planning going around planning and reading so i do want to continue doing this and this is something that is really helping me in my daily life that is the daily planning i write down in this planner a lot of things like the things that have happened during the day like the, how i feel like my goals my to-do list and everything like that so yeah i do want to continue with my daily planning i really think that my daily planning has been helping me a lot with my anxiety so i want to do that continue doing that so continue with that there is youtube going around in here and it comes also with that blogging and photo and i must say i am super busy and i'm gonna be completely honest in here in my channel if my channel ever grows to the point that i can actually do youtube video as my full-time job i will take it i love my career and i love the things that i do but i do love youtube a lot i love filming i love editing posting videos commenting and all of this i love youtube a lot but i have to be honest my channel is not big <laughs> and i have been doing this for a while and my channel is not extremely big and i don't get paid enough for me to leave my full-time role <laughs> so my goal is not to like super be extremely famous because that is not happening and i have to be realistic so my goal for youtube as of right now is to publish a video every week 
and this you may say like but right now you put push out like three videos a week and yes i do publish like around three videos a week i post in on mondays wednesdays and also fridays and i absolutely love doing that but realistically something that happens is that i want to publish at least one video because if i am so busy i may not publish videos some weeks and i want to keep doing this so it may happen that of course i'm going to continue trying to post three videos a week but my goal something that is doable is at least one video a week so that's my goal for next uh, three months i really want to do that then the other thing is that we have in here some computer and this in here is for my masters and in here too to some kind of like studying and stuff like that and let me tell you i don't know if you guys know this uh, but i have mentioned in another videos but i am a full-time user experience researcher i do work at corporate job i absolutely love my job uh, it's amazing i work a uh, 40 hours a week. I love the company I work for, all my employees, everything is so nice. But the thing is that that already have 40 hours of my day, right? So if you don't know, I also am a full-time master's degree student. I studied with the University of Barcelona and I'm taking the master's of digital accessibility for education, communication, and design. And I must say, I enrolled this master's last year and the master's is really cool, but the time that I need for this master's is not the time that I actually have on my pocket. So at this point on my life, I am really tired. And I'm saying like, why did I get into this master's? Because I don't have enough time to take a 10 courses and to write a master's degree thesis. And to finish this in June, because this master's is finishing in June. So I have a couple months to finish my thesis and all my courses and all the homework and everything that is going around with that. So yeah, I if I can go back to the battle of before, I will say do not take a master's degree full time when you are a full time employee <laughs> because the time for yourself, it just goes down. So uh, my goal is to finish it because at this point, I am so swamped with things that I need to do that some days I'm like, I just really want to quit my master's and don't do my master's because I don't have time for the homeworks. I don't have time for the readings. I just want to go to sleep. But I'm going to push and I'm going to try to finish my master's. Let's see how it goes. I may tell you at the end of June if I actually got my master's or no, but that is life. So that is one of the big goals that I have. So um, yeah, and I've, apart from master's, I post on Instagram every single day and on YouTube three times a day. So it has been a lot to kind of like handle, mostly because I have been also really sick many times and so many things happening. So so yeah, my time, I think like another goal, it will be like time for myself. That's a doable goal that I need to uh, achieve because yeah, self-care is important. Otherwise, I'm going to get burned out. So that's another one. When it comes to reading, my goal for the year was 52 books a year for this 2024. I may be able to do it once I'm out of my master's and I have a little bit more time for myself. But at this point, and for these three months, my goal is to read at least one book a month. And yeah let's see how it goes because some of the books that i have they're like a thousand pages so they're really long but at least i want to finish one book a month for these three months and then let's see how it goes in the next trimester but yeah um so apart from this one i have another like document wise i want to do some important documents so i'm not gonna tell in here on youtube what exactly the documents is but um need to do some of this this is kind of like important documents so i need to finish those documents in these three months and actually my goal is to finish them in april so yeah that's a goal for april then apart from this one i the goal that i have that i'm already doing is traveling in here you guys can see that i have a lot of traveling as well like traveling to the mountains so going fishing and stuff like that or even traveling in a plane and yeah my goal is to go to another country and in this one i am actually going back to costa rica 
and also I want to be able to go to another state and this is something that I may be able to do in these three months and um, try to just get to travel because travel is something that I really love so I think like so far these are the things um, that I really want to do so let's recap of all my goals that I'm gonna try to work on in the next three months and then in the next month um, let's see how this one is working I may do a video kind of like telling you guys how my goals are going so for this one with a healthy diet and go outside um, is one of the goals and this one is going to help me again with my anxiety when doing healthy things I didn't mention but I also go to a nutritionist because I have problems in my stomach so my nutritionist was telling me like to really like put every single day like all the meals that I was having and that was actually not working good with my mental health and that's what I say that on March I realized my mental health was not good and it was a lot because of that body image kind of thing and I don't have a lot of weight or I'm also not underweight my weight is perfect and I never had any troubles with my body image like like if I had it was because all my life I have been super 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 skinny but after I got the surgery I have been gaining some weight and for some reason that my nutritionist wanted me to book like to write down all the things that I ate during the day that I knew that I'm eating healthy and that's exactly what my body needs but I was seeing like gaining weight I don't know why but that messed up with my with my mind so I stop like just writing down what I eat. I'm just going to eat how I'm always eating and not thinking about that because I don't want to get in that rabbit hole. So like the healthy diet is more than like just eating a healthy meal without even writing down. I already talked to my nutritionist and we're going to work into that, but I'm not going to be kind of writing down my meals anymore. We have the blogging and photo. Hopefully you guys can see more blogging styles in these three months. Then we have another goal that is a daily planning. Publish a video a week. This is really doable for me, I think. Then finish my master's. This is the big goal for the month. Then we have time for myself. In this time for myself, it can be kind of like play games. Um, I It can be also like watch TV. It can be also just planning and journaling and kind of like all that reading. So I just need some time for myself. Like every night I'm going to put like 30 minutes where I only do whatever I want to do. <laughs> Watch YouTube videos or stuff like that. And not focus on school and work and all of these things that I need to do. The other goal is to read one book a month. Let's see how it goes. And then finish some of the documents on April. I will let you know in May if I already actually did this or no. And then the travel related goals that is go to another country that is happening in April and go to another state that I haven't even booked. But that's the thing when it comes to money, because I also have like some money goals in this that is budgeting and all of that. I want to continue like budgeting. And this one, I must say, this one has been working really good this year for me. This is a goal that, um, yeah, because I budget every single paycheck. I pay the things that I need to pay. I prioritize if I get in debt is for something that I know that is going to be good or that is going to like shape my future and is good debt to have. I have been good on paying off my credit cards at the end of the month and stuff like that. So budgeting has been really good. I want to continue that goal. So yeah, this video has been all over the place as you guys can see at the time that i'm filming this video today i'm a little bit overwhelmed with everything that i have to do in my life and i put on myself all these things mainly i'm really overwhelmed with my masters and um, and how to like balance the time between having eight hours of work and then going into my masters and reading everything but let's see maybe next month i'm gonna be a little bit bit less overwhelmed but i just wanted to post this video for myself later on and just watch it and see how i feel so this is going to be all day april goals and yeah it's a really scrappy kind of piece of paper eh, but I really like it and, and yeah hopefully it works out i do not feel today like being aesthetic but anyways thank you so much for watching this video let's see how it goes and actually 
I cannot mess up this because this is not April only. This is April until June. So, so it's quarter two. And it's really a big scrappy piece of paper that I'm gonna have in here to remind myself that these are my goals. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like these kind of videos. I hope you're excited to see if I can actually get these goals in order by the end of the quarter. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. These really kind of like more personal kind of videos and less like planning and beautiful and with colors and stuff. But that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.